News 8 Storm Team Forecast with meteorologist Matt Moore. Well, this morning we started off with the clouds, also with the chilly, breezy conditions. And we're starting to see those clouds, at least those cloudy conditions, breaking up a little bit. But we still do have the chilly and breezy winds across the valley right now. We're looking live from our York Sky Cam. Eh, socked into the clouds now, but just north of York, starting to see a little bit of sunshine trying to reach the ground here. Our current temperature is 38 degrees in the, uh, the White Rose City. Feels like around 30, though, when you factor in that northwest wind, around 12 miles per hour right now. Other winds between 10 and as high as 20 miles per hour pretty much all morning long, and now as we go into the early afternoon hours. And they are coming from that uh, cooler northwesterly direction, making things feel even cooler. But the actual air temperatures right now, uh, region wide, are sitting in the upper 30s to near. 40 degrees, but those wind chill values make it feel even colder. Uh, and you can see that little bit of a break trying to show up on our satellite imagery, at least locally. But these clouds stretch all the way back into Ohio, parts of Indiana, and now we're starting to see some high clouds blowing off of a storm system, getting uh, gathering steam down around the Gulf Coast. Won't be an issue for us though as we head into the weekend. So here in the News 8 Storm Team forecast, we have Harrisburg in the background, and skies will be turning partly sunny. Already in Harrisburg, you are seeing a little bit of sunshine trying to reach the ground, and through the rest of the afternoon, it will continue to do so. Brisk and cool with highs near 40 degrees, and those winds are being pretty persistent through the afternoon, but by this evening, they do start to kind of taper off a bit. And by tonight, uh, not as brisk either. Lows fall down into the mid 20s. And uh, we'll see partly cloudy skies overnight. Winds about 5 to 10 miles per hour, so not nearly as strong as what we had been seeing the last couple of nights. Even tomorrow itself, the kickoff to the weekend and the last weekend before Christmas, partly sunny skies and temperatures pretty close to averages for this time of the year, ranging anywhere between the mid 30s off to our northwest into the low 40s down into some of the bigger cities in the southeast. Now, on the United States picture, here's that storm I was talking about down around the Gulf Coast. A lot of rain gathering, some heavy rain around Louisiana, but this one is actually. Actually going to miss us to the south. High pressure anchored to our north will basically shove it there and uh, really not allow it to move to the north or up the coast at all. Earlier in the week, it appeared that it might do so, but not the case anymore. Farther to the west, there's actually a pretty strong system starting to move into the west coast right now. So places in California that have just been inundated with lots of rain, once again going to be seeing the rain. But this storm is actually going to be a pattern changer for us through the middle of this coming week and also will help to produce a pretty strong storm, at least in the middle of the country. Uh, here's what it looks like on Predictor until then, though. We have high pressure building in, and that's going to help bring in some drier air to the valley. There are those clouds I was talking about that are trying to blow off that storm from the Gulf Coast. And as you can see, that system misses us widely to the south uh, quite, by quite a bit, several hundred miles. But there is a little weak piece of energy that hangs back, and it'll slide through overnight tonight, or excuse me, overnight as we go into uh, Sunday morning. And that may actually give us a few flurries early Sunday morning before that clears off the coast and we get back into clearing conditions a little bit more in the way of sunshine for the second half of the weekend. So overall, the weekend itself not looking too bad. And Sunday is the first day of winter. It looks like we're going to be staying dry with the exception of some of those flurries. By Monday, though, another storm system looks to curve up the coast a bit. That may give us some brief wintry mix late Monday, and as we go into Tuesday, it will change over to just a plain rain, some drizzle and showers possible on Tuesday, but the bigger storm will arrive for us on Wednesday. We will be on the warm side, so windy, kind of rainy. Christmas Day itself will be on the back side of the storm, so a blustery cold Christmas for us. Maybe some flurries too. Matt. Well, right. coming off the Great Lakes. A little bit we'll of white. A little bit of snowflakes coming down for all Christmas. All right. Thank you, Matt. Yep.